Hey Jeez! Welcome back to my free and Beyond Journeys and Reactions. We're gonna be watching episode 9 today. And uh, I have a huge pimple right there. I'm gonna get distracted by that every time I look at myself on the camera. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Anyways, what happened last time? Last time, Freeman killed a uh, freaking uh, one of the one of the demons, and um, uh, the the ruler of the town realized that uh, something's wrong and decided to attack the the demon guy. And I forgot his name, Few something. And then um, uh, he lost all his soldiers in that battle, and then uh, they were like, "Okay, we really need you alive to." put down the barrier so that our, our army can get inside and then uh, Freeran was Freeran talked to Stark and Fern and was like <laughs> and was like um you know you guys are strong enough you can handle this and then Freeran just went outside to get ready to battle Aura Freeran the Slayer it's gonna be fun um yeah uh realized that um the, the demon guy I forgot his name Few something uh realized that um it's Freeran or it's similar to Freeran and uh it's gonna be a a battle battle, like an actual fight that's gonna happen right now. I have allergies, sorry. <laughs> I might snort every now and then. <laughs> Excuse me! So, let's do this. So, it's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture picture version which you can find in the description below and time based version which you're watching right now. If you want to sync up your own music time based version, you can do that with a 5% countdown and a countdown for 5 because that's what they do. And at 0 is the same thing my video says play on the screen. Let me just fix my chair. Um, squeaky, sorry. Sorry about that, very speedy chair. Lights. Okay. Minimize OBS and go here. Just check out audio track and subtitle file. Okay, timer will go. Wait, wait, wait. Volume. <laughs> timer will go here. We're starting off with a white screen. Which means it's gonna be slightly difficult to, uh, very slightly difficult to, uh, <laughs> to sync everything up because I use the thingy. If you're already set up AP discussions will be back over on YouTube, check those out again. Sometimes Bijou takes my videos from YouTube and puts them in there on my channel there. I don't even have my account linked there for some reason. I don't know why it happens. I I'm gonna have to find a way to end that. Uh, leave a like in the description and take it to Patreons. Let me check my recording. If you skip the intro, I have allergies right now. Um, it's being triggered by all the dust particles. So, um... <laughs> it might be annoying every time I snort. Mimic. I need to get my notebook and pen. Forgot about that. Song is really good. Song is really good. Episode 9, right? Yeah. Let's do this! Mm-hmm. Yup. That's a lot of bitches. <laughs> Free and the Slayer. Say it. Say it. Yeah. Wait, that's the title? Wait, that's the title in the Japanese. Or at the guillotine. So, so no Free Rain. So, yeah. It's different. It's not Free Rain the Engineer's End. It's completely different. To rest for a while. I <laughs> check my door. What the hell? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She, he knows. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, where have I heard that before? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The very same. Yep. Mm hmm Nice. Okay. That is cool. Cool bit of animation. Sup, Aura? 80 years. I'd appreciate if you turned back. <laughs> Woo! Slick. Woo! Nice. Didn't even get any dirt on her. Do you now? Hi, boogers. I didn't clean. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yes, I have no choice. Scale. Scale is obedience. What does it do? Oh! That makes sense, based on the name. What if she uses that on Fearon and Fearon is stronger? That's more... That's more mana. Have more mana. <laughs> yep, that's what we have to do. It seems that Freeran has more mana. Oh, sorry. Hey, it's a uh, Momonga from <laughs> Overlord. Is that its name? Mm hmm. Is that your son? Now that I think about it, it showed the crest emblem thingy. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's oh clever.
Really? But, uh huh, huh. <laughs> I like that she still had some doubts there. Just making sure. That is very slick animation for ch for putting on a coat. <laughs> Ooh, what a badass. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Can help you. You gonna fight them? <laughs> uh, nice. Fearing's fighting a bigger fish right now. Oh, she's concerned. That's cute. Eh, really? I didn't mean track by that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they've been trying to do that. Yep. Oh, no. Woo, that is slick. I like that bit of animation. Copyright is very iffy in this, so I, I don't think I can frame by frame it. What? What? She's pulling a free rent. She's pulling a free rent, staying quiet and chill. You must chill. Interesting, any demon can do it. <laughs> oh, good, good, sorry. Yawn. Very. <laughs> yep. Are you in? Yeah. Hmm. Let me. There we go.
<laughs> She's taking the snap. She's taking the snap. <laughs> Nice. Is <laughs> it can be kind of petty. Okay, that's kind of cute. Uh, let's talk about that. Mm. Okay. What's that? What a question. That's cool. Huh. That's very... Okay. My brain isn't working. I can't think of words. In English. <laughs> Domente. Huh. Interesting. Similar to Firin. Yep, similar to her. Oh! Nice. Nice. That was slick. I like that. Ah, gave it away. Naruhodo. Ooh. So live. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need to frame by frame that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk the copyright claim. Like this again. That is so good looking. Chow, chow. <laughs> Just... I think he's buying time for a uh, fern. Oh. 
Oh! Oh, uh, it's a lot of blood. Is that his eye? Oh. That's kind of, that's kind of powerful. It was the night that they were talking about earlier. Ooh, that's close. Yeah, Eisen. Now I don't think it's uh it's my time. <laughs> He's really struggling. Ooh. Come on, Stark. Come on, Stark. 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 You okay? No, no, it's alive. Okay. It's gonna get a flashback and it's gonna make him stronger. Because anime. Oh, nice. I like that. Sheer fucking stubbornness. Yeah. <laughs> Just stubbornness. Not done. <laughs> Brings me to muscles. Yeah, I haven't lost yet. Oh my. Kill them at the same time. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, how are we gonna do this, Stark? How are we gonna do this? Are we gonna take that hit and just counter? Oh! Sending a key! Nice! Kill the girl! She's dead! Zorchak! Nice! Demon killing magic! That's all about this episode. First of all, I should say, we're only doing one episode today. I actually planned on doing two, but uh, I'm actually recording this kind of late. I was planning on doing this yesterday, but I'm doing this on a Tuesday for me, which means I need to upload this the same day I record it. So I can't do two episodes. Sorry. First of all, that was satisfying. Is it eight? Uh, I forgot. Is it Bums? Say Bums Kid or whatever, you know, however you read his name, that told me that I should watch eight or nine together or nine or ten. I don't know which one it was. But this one actually feels like it's good. For me to end on, because uh, we actually killed the two the two demons. So 
I think I, I think I'm satisfied. <laughs> I'm genuinely satisfied with this, so I'm okay with that. Okay, that's so all the episode. So first of all, a soul soul no free rent is a, apparently uh, the title of the show in Japanese. So it's completely different from free rent beyond journey's end. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. I like this guy a lot. <laughs> I talked about it before, but I really like him. He's fun. I'm not gonna talk about Demon Slayer anymore because the only reason I thought of that was because of Susan of Fearing. Fearing this Slayer. So yeah. Took a lot of work to gather this many. Okay, so we learned about the scales, which is interesting because it's a very weird spell where you weigh yourself with the, another person's mana, and whoever has most the more mana, they take control of the other person. Which is interesting because <laughs> what's the word? Is all, what's the word? All, something's law. Murphy's law is that a word you're looking for? I don't know if it's that it. The thing where uh, if something's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong. Where um, it's pretty obvious what's gonna happen here. She's gonna use the thing, and Freyren is gonna have more mana. That's what's gonna happen for sure. <laughs> Um, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> I would like it if they didn't do that, but it's pretty obvious and I would like it if that happens as well. I'm okay with that. So yeah, but um, it is a very powerful spell when you have enough confidence in the amount of mana that you have yourself. So if you're really powerful, it's going to be really powerful. But if you're kind of not the, the best at magic, then you're not even going to be that. It's not going to be a very useful skill. So yeah, or weapon. I'm gonna, I want to see something here. I can't find it, but there's a shot that looks like it's Momonga from uh, Overlord. <laughs> also, uh, we showed the little necklace thingy, so it makes me think that it's actually his son doing that. That he was talking about. Is it this part? This part, yeah, look, look at that! Like, that's uh, Ainz when he was uh, he was uh, co cover covering as an adventurer. Yeah, <laughs> that's him. <laughs> That's what, oh no, the the art, the lower part of the helmet actually looks slightly different, but it looks similar. <laughs> That's the first thought that I had, and it's kind of similar, right? It is. Okay, um, next. Free range just casually using some spell magic. Okay, that, the covering the one, the sta staff that one. The staff with the magic is really neat as well. And then dispelling the mana that were placed upon the the headless knights. So that's interesting. I wonder why they mentioned that uh, Himmel didn't like like Himmel didn't like the way uh, Firin was doing things back then, where he was just he was just kind of blowing everyone away and destroying them. Is it because these are like these used to be people? Is this is this is this because she she used did she use the scales? To get these guys, I didn't even think of that because I thought because they were headless. Most, most, I think some of them are headless, right? So yeah, headless. So I thought that uh, maybe they were just like undead puppets or something along those lines, or armors, armors that are uh, brought to life, right? But maybe she used the skills to get these things, and that's why Himel didn't like fear in doing that because she's actually hurting the people that doesn't really want to do anything with this. That's interesting. I like this part because um, um, I w this is one of the things that I was complaining about. Even though I I'm okay with it, I like the I like the way they're telling the story. But uh, I was complaining about this for a while about the idea that uh, demons are just all evil, and I kind of want them to not be all evil and have some semblance of good within them, even if they kind of don't show it all that much. But Free Ren actually was like, "Oh, you are all evil." So that means Free Red also was thinking along those lines where is there a possibility that I, I don't have to kill you? Or is there a possibility that when I kill you I will feel sympathy for you? Siri so was like, nope, you're evil. Yeah, so that means that Free Red and I were thinking along the same lines at some point. So that's interesting. <sighs> okay, let's keep going. So the church, this is the place, they, they, <laughs> freaking, freaking love Stark saying that I'm gonna beg on my knees and tell Freeran to come back here and kill these guys for us. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean that is realistic according to a friend. I mean that is very realistic. Like that's a very good way to do this. Like if if Freedom was here, she would just easily kill them. So the Freedom's kind of busy with bigger fish, so that can't really happen. <laughs> oh, you need to get this there to evacuate your blood, and then it's as mana. I saw like a meme on Facebook, I think, or Twitter, I don't know which one, where they said that uh, why are people sexualizing Fern so much when she has one of the one of the characters in anime that has some of the most clothing. <laughs> and trust me, even if I don't look for it um, intentionally, I keep seeing lewd fan art of Fern. Like I just keep seeing them like unintentionally. That's how that's how big it is. That's how that's how so that's how much of that kind of fan art exists. I can't speak English today, apparently. I'm gonna go here. This part is neat. Not this part, the next part. It's really annoying because our uh, cover is really iffy with the show, so I'm gonna have to be, try to be, try to do this. Action lines, nice. Whee! Fun. That's so fun. <laughs> Very unnecessary clips, but uh, that's what makes it, that's what makes it fun. An axe. Okay, this part is also really cool. The the impact that they have. It's really neat. Okay, let's keep going. Fern is taken hostage, but uh, Fern realized that oh, you just want you just want uh, you just wanted to get back at me for sneaking up on you, <laughs> which okay, even though. We're not really sadly showing that these demons are in any way have any good within them. We are showing that they do have some semblance of humanity within them. Where there are like stuff like him being very petty about being taken by surprise. That's really interesting, right? Because it's not necessary for him in his mission, but he still feels like I'm gonna have to do this because she annoyed me. So I'm just gonna take some vengeance for that. And see, you get what I mean? It's like, it's unnecessary, but it it, feel, it makes them feel more real, which is interesting. I keep saying the word interesting again today. I used to, I, I was saying this over and over again yesterday as well when I was recording a, a different thing. Not yesterday, two days ago. I didn't record anything yesterday because I had to do something. But that applies to mana and technique. Technique. And then she realizes that, and then she learns that you cast spells faster than I do. So this is a lot faster for me to do, for us to do. And it smiles! That's really neat. Um, Viren rarely ever smiles like this. <laughs> and she's so cute! Let's see what's next. <laughs> I was, I was, uh, I got, I got, I started spacing out a bit. Uh, where's that, where's something you want to look at? There's something you want to look at. I wonder where it is. This part! This part. Woo! See the way the camera moves here? And then just the impacts. Nice. That's so cool. And then there's another shot of that it's later. I don't know where it is. I can't find it. Is it here? I can't find it. This part, this part, this part. The camera movements are really slick here. Yeah! That's so fun! That's so fun! Uh, why did it turn random? Um, that's so fun. And then, yeah, here we go. Okay, we're done with that. Um, next thing I want to talk about. Start fighting this girl and then doing a little flashback. Oh, first of all, the transition for the flashback is really cool. Because it's, sit, it's uh, laying down in the very same position. That's really neat. And then, um, Master's advice of simply... Um, you need to keep standing up, whoever stays standing at the end is the winner. That's a really neat thing to talk about, like, you just need to be, have perseverance and just utter sheer stubbornness, to be honest. And you can keep winning, because, you know, that's how a fight usually is. If you can, if you can keep fighting till the end, then you're gonna, you're gonna be the one that's winning. It's not very, uh, <laughs> practical. Like, if you're, like, overwhelmed by someone's power and you really can't do anything, that it's literally better to just stay down and don't die 
but uh, I get where he's coming from. Aizen is a uh, the kind of the kind of teachings that Aizen is doing is very apropos <laughs> for what what they are like warriors, right? Like the frontliners, like they need to be the ones that are always tanking everything and attacking up from up, up front and forwards. So yeah, mm, excuse me. Mm. <coughs> Cough. Excuse me. Standing up, realizes that her blows are actually very weak, even though she uses the same, um, um, even though she uses the same style. That's really interesting. Um, she imitates the styles of the warriors that she's fought. That's interesting. Also, uh, I get the feeling, as I said, as I said, it might be the son of the ruler. So. She also imitates that with the sword and everything. Also, she can just kind of equip certain different weapons using magic. That's an interesting. I keep saying the word interesting today. I'm sorry. <laughs> my my thesaurus is uh, missing. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's an interesting power. I've definitely seen that multiple times in different things. But it's an interesting power to have for like a for like a villain like this, where it's literally not even the, she's not even like the final boss at all. It's not even the mini boss. The mini boss is this guy, the fern killed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's interesting. <laughs> I keep saying the word interesting today. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, that's fun. Um, so next episode is probably going to be Firen versus Aura. That's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, this is a shorter video than I thought. I really want to do two episodes. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't record yesterday. If I could have recorded yesterday, I would have done too. But I can't. I'm sorry. Um, <sighs> other than that, are we done? Let me check my notes. Um, I like that Fern is like very similar to <laughs> to Firin. They get along quite well now that I think about it. Because they are quite similar, except Fern is actually more responsible than Firin, to be honest. Firin has some s certain aspects of childishness to her, which is interesting because she's over a thousand years old and she's she wakes up really late, she has difficulties getting out of bed, she, she sometimes thinks very immaturely, um, she, she likes putting herself above others. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, yeah, they are kind of different now that I think about it, but the way they act in terms of like, they're both really nonchalant and just you know, laying low all the time so <laughs> that's interesting ah, interesting again yay I keep saying that word today I keep saying that I keep saying that word today so yeah Stark I don't know man people ship them do I ship them <laughs> but uh Stark is cool I like him uh, he he pulls through whenever he's needed and uh, he makes it so that um, is uh, isn't there a thing a line in the last episode where uh, the ruler guy said that that's very valiant of you like you're scared but you're still doing the right thing um that's really cool because because uh, he does pull through whenever he's needed so i do like that um you want me to bring up demon slayer again <laughs> i keep thinking of demon slayer because freeman the slayer but uh, I thought of the idea that uh, Zenitsu, you know Zenitsu? Uh, I did not like Zenitsu that much as well. Because um, I, I like the gag of, oh, I'm only strong when I'm sleeping. I like the gag of that, it's funny. But uh, the idea that um, he's not necessarily fighting his, um, his uh, fears and more so just leaving it behind to his subconscious is not, as, not, not the best way I can think of writing that. Because it's completely different how Stark does things where He's actively trying to fight his uh, his fears instead of just you know instead of just um, <laughs> just going on, on autopilot and big killing the enemy. So yeah, again, no hate on Demon Slayer. I just I don't know. I just don't like it that much. I, I think I would like the next seasons if I if I ever to watch it. Actually, yeah, I think I would like the next seasons, according to a friend of mine. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. So. That is it for me for now. If you want to see the next episode for action and discussion, you can also do that. Please join me below. If you really have out, you don't have to do it again. Don't be able to do that. Also, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. All that fun stuff, man. Yeah.
bye